Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and I'm gonna be bringing you the Tesla stock prediction with what did Kathy Wood just say? Did I hear this right? So there are some things out there she was talking about, including NEO, and she discussed NEO and how they're gonna fare and some of the other Chinese EVs out there. Who's going to win the day? Hint, hint. And this is gonna be big because for all those people following the EV industry, following this channel, this is what we've been waiting to hear from some of the other people out there there. Just how do they see this whole EV market going down? It was really enlightening and I liked it. So stick around. I think you're going to like what I got for you. For those new to the channel, I'm Stock Mo, I'm an old financial advisor and teacher. I've been in the classroom for many years. Now I come here and I try to help people take their portfolios to that next level. All I ever ask, do me this solid. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notifications, hit all, become part of the community here. We do good things and we use fundamentals to back up our research and we like to make money. Now, I do have a link down below to Weeble in the description. Take five minutes. You pause the video, five minutes. You're gonna put a hundred bucks in there. You get two free stocks worth up to $1,800. $150. I get a free share because I'm an affiliate. You're buying me a drink and I greatly appreciate it. And you're going to get two on the house as well. And it's a win-win for all of us. Now I have a link down below to my Patreon. If you really want to come over, talk to me and we have private discords with thousands of members. I have all my portfolios. I send you buy and sell when I'm buying and selling, you get notifications right away. It's a good way to give back to the channel and I'd greatly appreciate it. Now let's get into it today and see what's going on because I read a lot of articles. This isn't brand new news but she came out, Kathy Wood came out, was discussing a little bit about some of the EVs, you know, going to tour. And it was one of the little, couple words she said in a statement that just wowed me. And we're gonna get into that in a second. So the first thing, let's take a look at Tesla. Now I talked about Tesla in the Tesla stock prediction where I see the Tesla stock prediction going over the long term. I think Tesla's stock price should roll up to by the end of this year, 950 or more. And I think by the end of 2022, Tesla will be well over $1,250 a share. And I think you're going to start to see some really big push up growth once that energy business starts rolling. And you don't even want to get me started on the insurance half, the, uh, the autonomous driving with the robo taxis. There is so much going on with Tesla. It is going to be a monster. It's going to make some of these other companies look, you know, just when you look at Neo and Xpeng and Ian Lucid and say, man, what are they worth? And you compare it to Tesla, it's ridiculous. Like this is the big dog on the block. I added more Tesla last week. I added a lot more Tesla last week. I added Tesla the week before, I added it during a few weeks of the downturn. I've been adding a lot more on and taking advantage of dollar cost averaging through it, ups and downs, and getting a good share price. So I like where I'm going with Tesla and you got my ranks. I'm gonna show you some of the analysts out there where they see the Tesla stock price prediction going, but I see it going much, much higher. And of course, talking of Kathy, you know this is still, because a lot of people came out and said, hey, did you see she was selling Tesla stock this week? Well, yes, because she's moving into the other things she talks about all the time, crypto. If you, and we talked about this, she can only own so much crypto. And so what she does is she gets in, and it's not in crypto, she has to buy the GBTC stock. So what she is doing now is not, she can buy the Coinbase stock, which is fantastic, because you're owning the store where people like to go and do their crypto trading and other stuff. So you got good stuff there with Coinbase. So she was able to buy that, but she has to sell some stocks to get into it. And be, Tesla being the biggest position and uh, she sold some of that off. So I totally get it. And she's replacing it with her other love, which is the crypto industry. And I get it. I did the same thing. I added some Coinbase on now. And I, I'm hoping I got a little cheaper than they did. I think I did because I waited until after, I think it was uh, day two um, that we jumped in. Mm, we'll see. One, we got in and it was not, it was not a bad price. So I, I'm feeling pretty good about Coinbase and where we're moving forward. I'm going to be adding more Coinbase very soon. With that though, I'm thinking about adding some other stocks on and taking advantage of a few things and we'll wait and see because right now to me the EV industry is getting very very juicy when you're seeing some of these prices is down as low as they are. I liked them back when they were higher. So what are we gonna do now that it is slow? So anyways, we can see where Tesla's going. This is the one year chart. Continuing, looking nice, still trending higher, higher. You can see where we came down from the, I call it the EV stock market crash because it was. It was the EV crash. All the EVs tanked, including Tesla. And you can see this is the March 8th low for all, but look, 
This has been trending higher, and I do think it's gonna continue trending higher. That starting Monday and ending Friday, it should be higher than it was at the beginning of the week. And that's how I feel about Tesla, and we'll find out if that works out this week, but it's been doing very well moving higher. And then we get into NEO, and this is what this, this video, when we look at the NEO stock prediction and seeing where it's gonna go and how it is, it's funny because I talked about, obviously with Tesla, I'll finish up with that, you had Kathy coming out saying they see uh, three trillion market cap by 2025 for Tesla, and they think it's gonna be around a $3,000 stock price. That is fantastic, it's about four times where we're at now. And they said there's a 25% chance of hitting about 1,500 though, and that's their bear case. And then 4,000 is a 25% chance of their big bull case. I think uh, 3,000 is fair, a little you know, in that range, I'd be happy, and we'll see how it does. Now, with all that being said, she actually brought up Neo. I, you know, I don't hear her talk about Neo, and I liked hearing Ark come out and Kathy Wood come out and just discuss Neo a little bit and how they see it. So in China, uh, they were talking about how the companies are gonna do in China. And they talked about Xpeng, and what'd she say about Xpeng? Xpeng might win. I think that was the word she said. And then for NEO, after they discussed it a little bit, she said, we, I believe it was that they believe that NEO will win the day. And I've been with this for a long time. I've been, anybody has been on this channel knows I've been filing the EVs. I do a lot of my research in EVs. NEO is easily gonna win the day. To me, it's not even a question of, but hearing her come out and saying, we believe that NEO will win the day. It just reaffirms that the research I'm doing, I know they're doing the same research, looking at the same numbers, the growth of the industry in China, the government backing support, and just that company coming out and wowing, starting to expand in Norway already. There's so many big things going on with NEO that if you look at it and say, well, it's down, look at this, Mo. NEO is down from that high all the way down, 41%. Yeah, it's screaming. It's a good opportunity now. That's what I'm saying. At the price it is now, people are seeing it. You can do your little regression line. To me, it's trading underneath that now. It is, if you're looking for a position that in five years you can look back and go, wow, I can't believe I got into it, this is one to consider. You got, now you got me, you know, obviously I'm a big bull on it, but you know, it's nice to see Kathy Wood come out and say uh, that they feel like it will win the day in China. So that was big and I feel good about that and I think it's gonna be all right. You should check out that uh, video on when she was discussing that, and you can just Google it, you'll find it. It's really cool stuff to see some of the bigger companies out there starting to notice. I'm surprised they didn't get into it, but then again, she did refer to it as a, a battery swapping company. You know, I don't know how to take that because that is their kind of thing, and I get it, but you know, if you're in and out in five minutes swapping a battery, so I'm sitting 10, 15, 20 minutes out of charging, we'll see how it all plays out in the long run, but you never know. Transformation could happen there could be other things to do we'll see how it goes but i do believe that they will win the day as well and that's why i'm loading up on it but i'm also loading up on tesla so that's you know i'm not missing out on that and i'm also going to be loading up on coinbase i think coinbase is going to be a monster i think that company is going to run into the hundreds of billions i think crypto in general is going to move up way higher and i'm adding on a crypto portfolio nothing too big i don't want everybody to get excited it's going to be a small one that i think a lot of people can follow and it's going to be done right and i'm going to be able to explain why i'm getting into a lot of the things so for those looking to get into crypto come over and join me at the patreon i'm going to be starting that in may and during the first week or two of may i'll be getting that rolled out i think you're going to like that it's going to give you an idea i used to teach this in high school i taught high school and college uh, finance and investing two national championships under my belt 15 state championships but one of the things i did is i created a nine-week curriculum on investing, what is blockchain, Bitcoin, Ethereum, different kinds of operations out there that you can learn about and understand and what to look for investing and how to make money buying and selling crypto. And the kids loved it. And so I am, I, I'm pretty good at it. And I used to be a miner for way back when things were new. I used to mine 50,000 minimum Dogecoin a day back in the day. You know what there would be worth a day? Oh, it would have been worth uh, about twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars at the height of, of Doge. Every day I was getting that. I didn't know it back then. And back then it wasn't worth anywhere near that. And uh, it's it's something to go to show you if you if you have the the vision and. Uh, and you get you get the right fortune, you're good. And I just didn't have the vision, I guess, for, for Doge. I love Doge. I was mining day one, minute one. 
had the miners on Doge. And boy, we were pulling in the Doge. I loved it. So I'm happy for everyone out there making money on it. I had one of my students say that he just bought five grand worth of it in December. And it's now worth over $100,000. Wow, who go, go figure what can happen with Doge. So I told him to take half of it, invest it in stocks, told him what stocks to buy, the other half to keep having fun with it. So we'll see how he makes out. So Xpeng is the other one she said might win. So I wanted to throw that up to the one year. Take a look at the highs, where we're at now. This is down 57%, even more, more than NEO. So I am gonna add additional shares of Xpeng to my portfolio. And I am looking at putting some BYD in there and taking advantage of that, the Warren Buffett back stock. And we'll see what's going on uh, with that. So I do think there's some big things. But looking at tip ranks, I do have a link down in the description of tip ranks. Highly recommend it. Puts all the analyst stuff there for me. You can see with Tesla, you're getting all kinds of different prices here, but 800 to 1,000 is the normal. There's always a 700 down here once in a while. But to me, I think it's gonna get up there around 950, and we'll see where that goes. But right now, the analysts have it only 7% up over the next 12 months, so, but still up. That's the good news. I, and then NEO, of course, 70% upside potential. It got beat up this week, and it is scary for those investing, but the stock has a long term. I think it's gonna be very big, and I think hearing her say win the day, Oh, I'm loving it. And it just re reaffirms a lot of the things we talked about, Neo, and the government backing it up. Uh, all the production increase in 150, hopefully 300,000 vehicles are getting close in the next year or two. We'll see how they make out and expanding and looking for people to work in the United States. Possible footsteps here in the States could be huge. And that's what takes it. Everybody says, what takes it to a trillion dollar company? You need to be in Europe, you need to be in Asia, and you need to be in the US and they're working on it. And so I do think if you have that five to 10 year time frame for NEO and you keep buying and your dollar cost averaging either up or down, uh, we've been getting into this since the teens, but you know, keep adding and dollar cost averaging over time, I think you'll be real happy with it. But that's my opinion. And like I said, go out and do your due diligence, talk to the financial advisors and see what they think. But I am willing to take a risk and I think it's gonna work out for me and I continue to do that. Now, Xpeng was the other one I wanted to add on. You can see this one, the upside potential is actually lower than NEO, even though it dropped more and it's only a 47% upside potential according to the analysts. I think though, if they actually do win, if you will, that could go through the roof. So I am looking at that one as well and considering that and that on. So you got my Tesla stock prediction, NEO stock prediction, the Xpeng stock prediction, big things out there. And we're gonna see how these happen over the time. And I think the EV market is set to explode. Once we get through the chip shortages, pandemic's over, I think you're gonna see the EV starting to grow, infrastructure growing and it's gonna to lead to a lot of money for people investing in these. Right now, it's tough to, it's a tough pill to swallow, but we will get through it, and we're gonna see big time gains moving forward, in my opinion, and that is where I'm putting my money. I appreciate everybody stopping by. Make sure you get those two free stocks down below. From Weeble, 1,850 could make your weekend. It's a great way to help. And come on over and join us at the Patreon. The link's down there too. I'll be over there. We got the private Discord, thousands of members, good things happening. And uh, I share my portfolio. You can see all my stocks in there, how I'm doing, how much money I'm making every day or losing. And uh, just, uh, like I said, I'll help you answer your questions and things like that. And of course, I got the tip ranks thing down there too. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.